In Excel, the IFS function can be used to make multiple comparisons, more than two comparisons, in order to determine what should be done, what action should be taken based on the result of the comparison. For example, looking at the logic of an IFS function, you can see in this example we're going to compare the grade average and determine which letter grade is associated. In this case we're using the grade of 90 to begin and we're going to say if the grade is greater than or equal to 90, that's true, we're going to display a letter grade of A. Otherwise, if that's false, then we have to make another comparison and determine if the grade is greater than or equal to 80, then the letter grade would be B. If that is false, then we'll have to make another comparison greater than or equal to 70. If that's true, we just display a C. If it's false, we make another comparison. If it's greater than or equal to 60, to determine the letter grade would be a D. And then we can make another comparison for the letter grade of F. So in this case, the logical test is grade greater than or equal to 90. Let's look and see how this will work in an example. I have a list of grades here, and I have the final average. I've already determined based on the final average what the letter grade should be using a VLOOKUP function. Okay, The IFS can be used in the same way as a VLOOKUP function. So you can determine which is easiest. You could use either one. Uh, usually they will be interchangeable. Let's go in and use our ifs function. Now for the vlookup function, I used this table array. I could technically use the same data for the ifs, but just to make it a little cleaner, I have my table here for the ifs. So you can clearly see the bottom range. For example, a 90 to 100 will be a B, an A, 80 to 89 B, 70 to 79 C, and so forth. So I'm using the bottom of the range and the greater than or equal to in order to make those comparisons. So our first logical test, we're going to compare the final average and see if it's greater than or equal to 90. If that's true, the student will receive an A. Now I have to determine throughout this process which should be absolute or relative references. In this case, Anything that's here needs to be an absolute reference because we want that to stay the same as we copy the formula down the column. Our second logical test is to see if the final average is greater than or equal to the 80. If that's true, the student will receive a B. The third logical test will be a comparison between the average and a 70. And we'll scroll down here. If that's true, the student will receive a C. And for the next comparison, we'll compare to a 60. And if that's the case, the grade will be a D. And the last comparison, you could do these several different ways, but we're just going to be consistent and say if the grade or the average is greater than or equal to zero, then the student receives an F. Notice as I went through this function, I stayed consistent in my use of the greater than equal to throughout the function. Do not mix the greater than equal to and less than equal to within the same function. So if we copy this down, you can see that the VLOOKUP and the FS provided the same grade. Uh, so you could choose either way to perform that particular function.